today, big cats are defined as any member of the genus Panthera, which contains five species, the leopard, snow leopard, tiger, lion, and jaguar. With the exception of the leopard, Panthera pardus, big cats are the apex predators in their ecosystems, usually suppressing all other carnivores in their habitats. Big cats live in an extremely wide range of habitats all over the world. With snow leopards live in the very mountainous, hilly and freezing Himalayas, and some lions and leopards live in very harsh desert environments. Unfortunately today, all five species of big cat are threatened with extinction. With the jaguar being near threatened, the snow leopard, regular leopard and lion all being vulnerable and the tiger being endangered. For tigers, leopards and jaguars, deforestation is impacting their natural habitat, which they rely on for foraging and shelter. For snow leopards, climate change is impacting their usually icy habitat, with glaciers retreating rapidly from their Himalayan ecosystems. Lions, meanwhile, are usually hunted by poachers for their meat, fur and other body parts, which are used on the black market for Chinese traditional medicine. All five species are also regularly shot by farmers, accusing them of killing their livestock. As a result, human-wildlife conflict also plays a role in the decline of these majestic predators. Every year, an estimated 600 lions, 350 snow leopards, 335 leopards and 150 tigers are killed by poachers. As a matter of fact, there are more tigers in captivity in America alone than there are in the wild of Asia. In the very near future, zoos may very well be the last place where you can see a big cat. Over the past month, I have been researching the likely extinction dates for wild big cats, and here are my findings. As you can see from my workings out, it's likely that most big cats will be extinct by around 2070, which is around 45 years away. So a world without big cats is actually pretty possible. In a world without big cats... The subfamily Pantheronae would be much smaller than it is today, with five of the seven members having gone extinct, leaving only two clouded leopard species. Overall, though, the family Felidae would not lose too many members, only dropping from 41 species to 36 species. With the extinction of lions and leopards, the largest land carnivore in Africa would actually be the spotted hyena, which can weigh up to 81.7 kilograms. In a world without big cats, the largest felid would be the cougar, also known as the catamount, mountain lion, or puma. The cougar has a maximum confirmed weight of 105 kilograms, making it the largest cat in North America and Northern Central America, being the second largest cat in South America. The cougar would be the last living reminder of a time when big cats roam the mountains, grasslands, deserts and forests of Afro-Eurasia and the Americas. Even greater than the logistical impacts of a pantherless world would be the ecological effects. Almost everywhere they go, big cats are the top order carnivore, controlling the population of smaller predators and prey animals. In South America, the population of tapirs, capybara, anteaters, rhea, deer and other animals would increase without jaguars, leading to increased competition and a higher rate of disease outbreaks. There would also be an increase in the caiman population, which could lead to an increased amount of attacks on humans. In Africa and Eurasia, the population of all large herbivores, including deer, antelope, bovids, sewards, etc., would also explode, eating away at all the vegetation they come across, threatening the survival of grasslands and rainforests that the big cats used to call home. Mesopredators that used to be suppressed by big cats such as jackals, hyenas, cheetahs, hunting dogs and many more would begin hunting smaller animals such as rodents, birds and mustelids, leading to the near extinction of many species. 
The only upside to a world without big cats would be the roughly 300 people who wouldn't be killed by big cats annually. And there would still be many more dangerous herbivores such as hippos and elephants to take care of them. Overall, a world without big cats wouldn't be much of a very good place to live. Especially if you're a fan of nature and megafaunal predators. Hopefully we can save modern day big cats before they go completely extinct in the wild. The question is, would you be happy living in a world where you can only see a lion or a tiger in a zoo or a magazine?